Our third Fiddle Retreat concert is our Old Time Music Showcase. We start with fiddler Lisa Ornstein from Portland, Oregon. Next up will be Aaron Marshall and Carl Jones from Galax, Virginia. And our final set will be Ken and Brad Kalodner from Baltimore, Maryland. We hope you enjoy it. Hi everybody, it's Lisa Ornstein here. It's the 6th of January and I'll tell you I'm feeling pretty peachy keen this morning. So happy to be part of the Upper Potomac Fiddle Retreat. And I'm just going to play a couple of old time tunes. So um, I'm going to start out with a tune that I'll be teaching on Sunday. It's my favorite version of Soldier's Joy. A uh, great old tune and this one is from Tommy Terrell. So here we go. switch fiddles here and um, I'm going to play you a new tune and then an old tune. Um, so the new tune is a tune that I made up this past summer um, in honor of some great kitchen sessions, old time sessions, um, that uh, have been held in the tiny little kitchen um, in Vermont uh, in the camp called Northern Heritage Music Week and um, there's usually a great old-time music session in um, the kitchen prep area uh, of the dining hall which is is quite small um, and and so um, when there's the jam people just sort of crush into the room and you've got you know those long metal tables and the Hobart machine and um, uh, the prep area and we're just kind of cheek to jowl all jammed up together um, and uh, uh, so this summer that so did not happen um, because of COVID and uh, but the camp did go ahead and um, and I was just kind of feeling very nostalgic about these sessions. And so I made up a little tune in, in honor of these sessions. It's called Shove That Dish Rack a Little Deeper Into the Hobart. And I'll follow it up with another Tommy Gerald tune, uh, June Apple.
So I'm just gonna take a moment here and retune my fiddle for a last tune. And uh, this is a tune that I made up It's called Annie and Ellie, and this is Annie and Ellie Davis. Uh, they are two-thirds of a great young old-time band called the Sassafras Sisters here in Olympia. And uh, it's been my great privilege to teach um, both Annie and Ellie over the last four years now, I guess. And um, so we were doing these tunes in um, what is called calico tuning out here on the West Coast and um, with the fiddle tuned A, E, A, C sharp. And um, so I was teaching Annie uh, calico tunes and boy, I'll tell you, she was just picking them up as fast as I could play them. And um, I realized about 10 minutes until 2 o'clock at one of her lessons that I was just plumb out of calico tunes and she was about to show up and um, so they say that necessity is the mother of invention um, and this tune just sort of popped into my head all made um, so here it is Annie and Ellie looking forward to seeing you all on Sunday and thank you Joni so much for um, putting together the camp. Thank you, Peter, for your technological wizardry for helping these concerts happen. Thanks. to all our friends Howdy. of the Upper Potomac Fiddle Retreat. All right. Aaron Marshall, Carl Jones hey. here, yeah. and we're coming to you from Galax, Virginia, in the southwest corner of the state of Virginia, and um, we really love the Upper Potomac Fiddle Retreat, and welcome to everybody who's going to participate for the first time online, but if you haven't been there in person, it's really special in the little town of Shepherdstown, West Virginia. It's a beautiful old town and um, has a great general store and lots of history, yeah, beautiful old buildings. Yeah, yeah. And um, the fiddle treat is great. Jams, 
classes and concerts. You can so, soak up the ambience, you might say. Yeah. It's a nice place so, to do that. Enjoy it online this year and come back in person. And we're going to play a set of some great old time music for you, starting yeah. with. We'll do the hometown band. You know, every hometown needs one. And this is a Pennsylvania tune collected by Samuel Bayard. He did a couple of collections, and one was the Dance to the Fiddle, March to the Fife. And that's, that's out of that collection. And I've always loved this tune, so we'll start out with that in the key of G. Great. And we'll All go right. into a Kentucky tune, John Riley the Shepherd. Okay, here we go. that last tune for our old time buddies there at Upper Potomac because we had a fun time playing it there last year. Oh yeah, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And that's a little mystery in that tune there, you know. Mm -hmm. You wonder about old John Riley, what was going on there? Not sure. <laughs> no telling. That's I wonder fun. about Carl Jones sometimes too. <laughs> I wonder He's about... got a nice seasonal song I think for oh. us next. Well, I'll see if I can pull that out. Yeah, it's uh being a songwriter, you know, for many years, you, you know, it's always nice to go back and try to remember some of the stuff you've done years ago. And this is one that people have uh, kind of latched onto in a good way for the seasonal, for wintertime and snowing because it's called Snowflake. And it is a nice, uh, kind of an optimistic song, which we, we need that nowadays and always. And I think when it snows, it's kind of a magical time. And we were lucky enough to have a snowfall on Christmas this year. Yeah, white, uh, in Gay white Christmas. So that's awful nice. So I'll be thinking about that and just the magic of uh, being a, a kid as well and, and seeing snow maybe for the first time. Wow, you know, that's a neat thing. But I we'll also like that you were inspired to write this when you looked out over your yard that at the time was filled with some junk and stuff and the snow was covering it all up and making it look really beautiful. I wasn't going to bring that up. But yeah, that was one of the, the impetus sort of there was yeah, uh, just thinking how nice it's going to look in a short time with the snow covering everything up. But, uh, but it's just a magical, magical time. So that's sort of what the song's about. So hope you enjoy Snowflake and feel free to do some, uh, you know, maneuvers with your fingers like snow if that makes you feel good. Dance around a bit or sing along. Interpretive dance. And maybe just uh, just let your mind uh, drift like snowflakes. <laughs> Back to your childhood or yeah. wherever it may take you. Yeah, we're on, and, and remember sing we along. Can, we can always be uh, childlike, uh, you know, stay, keep some of that uh, childhood 
within us our whole life. So that's another thing that, I don't know if this is about that, but it should be. <laughs> so Snowflake, here we go. Snow's always a wonderful thing. Even if you have a driveway, you have to shovel later on. Don't think about that. Think about how beautiful it is uh, uh, as it's falling. And just, like I say, the magical... The cleansing nature yeah, the, of snow. Yeah, that's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Making the world anew. And it's, it's all about your uh, your uh, outlook, I think. You know, I was reading about uh, people that live up where it's dark a lot. You know, they have, they have a lovely, optimistic... Uh, they look forward to that, and they think about how cozy it is, all the nice stuff. You know, so think about the good side of everything. And, and I think that... Uh, That'll help us through I'm gonna 2021. I'm going to try that myself. I'm going to listen to what I say for a change. So. <laughs> we're going to do a set of old-time tunes for you now. And uh, we're going to... They're all West Virginia tunes. The first one is Cole Holler. Oh, boy. And we're going to go into Greenback and Dalio from mm -hmm. Melvin Wine, who I learned from for all a number right. of years. Good. Yeah. And um, then we might throw in a little Jimmy Johnson. And okay. th this will be our... Last set of tunes. Thank you so much yeah. for listening. And a big shout out to Joni Blanton and all the folks yeah. that help out with the Upper Potomac Fiddle Retreat. And we look forward to seeing you there in person in the future. Yeah, they do, do wonderful uh, work, you know, and really make a great event every year. So we appreciate all that hard work there. So, and we look tunes. forward to hearing all the other performers. Oh boy, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
can't wait to see you all at Upper Potomac and uh, wonderful wishes for a happy, healthy new year to you all from Aaron Marshall, Carl Jones. Yeah, wishing you much music and uh, a magical 2021. Hey everybody! <laughs> hey. Thanks so much for joining us here for this virtual concert coming to you remotely from my home in Baltimore here in Charm City. I'm Brad Kaladner. We've got Alex Lacoma on the upright bass and my father Ken Kaladner here on the hammered dulcimer and we've got some tunes lined up for you. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Here goes. One, two, three. with a heater here in this midwinter day and that's a tune I wrote while up in Vermont one summer uh, called Skipping Rocks and I was out there on Lake Champlain skipping rocks all evening as I tended to do as a teenager or I guess I must have been in my early 20s and I don't know why it's I make any reference to how old I was because I still go up to Vermont and skip rocks all the time on that beautiful lake uh, Champlain. And uh, anyway, that's the title track of our second recording that we did as a father-son team. And we've got some fiddle tunes for you up next. And uh, well, it is the Upper Potomac Fiddle Retreat. And we've been there for quite a number of years um, and always enjoy it. And this is the next best thing, even though we can't be there in person. It's great to be with you virtually. So we've got a tune that my father wrote up next here on the fiddle. All right, this uh, this uh, tune that I wrote a bunch of years ago for my 40th high school reunion. I won't say how long ago that was, but it was a long time ago. Uh, so I just called it the reunion, and we're going to follow it up with uh, Shuck in the Brush. <laughs> Thank you. 
Alrighty. That's I some can... fiddle music for you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to mix it up, slow things down a little here, and revive an old tune of ours. We, um, for many years, have tried to take these old-time melodies and put our own spit on them, maybe changing the chords, speeding them up, slowing them down, clearly adding in unusual instruments like this one here in my hand. This is called a banjola, and it's basically a wooden banjo. It has the body of a mandola or bazooki. It has five strings just like a banjo, and I play it just like a banjo, but it has quite a different tone. And um, yeah, we're going to do a song here that um, we recorded on our album Skipping Rocks. And it's an old-time melody that we frequently play in jams and love playing this one up to speed with screeching fiddles, but we've mellowed it out quite a bit. And it's called Grub Springs. Here goes. We have some great memories of being at the Upper Potomac Fiddle Retreat, particularly jamming at the Blue Moon, that cafe there, yeah. and uh, playing until the wee hours, a packed space with all kinds of people not wearing their masks. <laughs> and uh, well, we're looking forward to being back there in person again. Uh, in the meantime, this is, uh, this is quite a lot of fun to get to make some music for you. Um, we're going to do a tune that my father wrote. And it features this peculiar instrument here called the hammered imbira. I'm on the gourd banjo. Ooh. Ah, nice. Wow. Wow. How often you have to tune that thing, Ken? <laughs> Never. <laughs> I've had it uh, I've had it ten years or so. 
and have only tuned two of the rods and all those. These, this, this thing is a hammered in bureau, just metal rods instead of uh, strings. It's in the same layout as a hammered dulcimer and it was built by a guy who wanted to capture the sound of the thumb piano, otherwise known as the Imbira, M-B-I-R-A, also known as Kalimba, in the layout of a hammered dulcimer. And uh, here's uh, Swift House. Yeah, this is the title track of our previous album, The Swift House. And, going, uh, that's going through a history of our recording. Yeah, yeah this is kind of uh, yeah, just walking through the various records we've done over the years. We don't have anything from our first album on this list, but you can find all of our albums on our website, kenandbrad.com. <laughs> Retrospective on <You're> right. <laughs> Best of. <laughs> right. Here we go. Swift House. Since this uh, pandemic, we've been keeping the music alive through our bi-weekly Baltimore Old Time Jam, streamed on our Facebook page and on my YouTube channel. All of you are welcome to tune in and play along. We're with you every other Tuesday night, and we've been doing it since April. And uh, we've had thousands of people tuning in over these past, uh, I guess it's been almost a, a year of this. And uh, we have uh, managed 20, to... Yeah, we have 2,500 on that. Yeah, we've got so many people who've tuned in and written and joined us for that jam, and we're just playing from the same space every other Tuesday night from 7 to 9 Eastern, and uh, it's been a nice way for us to just keep the music alive in our world of just keeping these tunes that we love going, um, but it's also great to connect with so many new people who are able to join us for the first time. Um, so we're going to keep things rolling here with an old-time tune. Maybe we'll get this one happen in, in one of the next jams. In the... I just learned this one today. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's a great one. It's a hard one to find this because it's a different, very different version of Billy in the Low Ground. It's not your typical Billy in the Low Ground. Where'd you learn this one, Brad? I first learned this tune from the playing of a great fiddler out of Lawrence, Kansas, by the name of Trisha Spencer. And she yeah. plays this one. It's called Billy in the Low Ground. Kind of a unique version. I'm tuned to Calico for all you fiddle nerds out there. Woo! And I hear there are some of you, as it is a fiddle retreat. <laughs> I'm tuning my fiddle to A E A C sharp. And if you've never done it before, great. your fiddle will not like you. But you will love your fiddle. Has a really cool open A That's chord nice. sound. Just like nice, this. nice and screechy, just like that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Here's Billy in the Low Ground. <laughs> something to make these concerts more interactive. You know, for years people have been asking if these are for sale and uh, they are not for sale, although I do have a couple of them, um, just in case one breaks. Um, one actually has broken. The banjo fell off of one of these. But Anyway, you can follow hashtag Bobble Brad on uh, Instagram and you will find all of his crazy adventures. Here we go. We got time for one more tune. Thanks so much for joining us and uh, thanks so much to Joni and all the folks at the Upper Potomac Fiddle Retreat for organizing this, all the behind the scenes crew, and of course all of you for tuning in and joining us remotely. Please stay in touch, you can write us anytime. And uh, we have, of course, our recordings, including our latest one, which came out uh, in 2020 called uh, Stony Run. And it features this next tune. Um, we're also joined by the great Rachel Eddy who's on the album playing guitar and fiddle and singing a bit as well. So just imagine Rachel's harmony singing on this one. In addition to Alex, we've got one to send you out a song from the great Cousin Emmy. This one's called Bowling Green.
I wish I was a bowling green sitting in my chair. One arm round the soul talk, the other round my dear, the other round my dear. Trio here with Alex Lacoma on the bass. So long, everybody. Thank you.